with PMP Crafters here. Today we are going to be making a Pringles can label. The Pringles can that we are going to be making a label for is the 1.3 ounce, which is perfect for parties and party favors. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is go to new file. Okay, now what we're going to do is adjust our height, make sure that it's in inches. Our height is going to be 3.1 and our width is going to be 10. So we'll have a 10 by 3.1, and then we'll go ahead and click Create. Now, as you can see, this is our template. Now, at this point, go ahead and go to File, Save As, to save this template. You wanna make sure that once you have it created, that you have it saved. Now that we have it saved, let's go ahead and create a quick design. Now, I'm gonna make this really, really quick, keep it simple. So I'm gonna stop talking so that way you guys can watch me create. Okay, so now we have our simple design here and what we need to do to go ahead and get ready for printing is we want to merge all visible layers. Now, if you feel like you're going to be using this template, um, this template design more than one time, then you want to, before you merge it down, you want to save as again and save this so that way you can create this design and you won't have to redo it again if, if somebody else ever wants it. Okay, but what we're going to do now is go to file new and we're going to just get us a regular sheet of paper which is the 11 by 8 by 5 because we're going to have it landscape mode and click create and then we're just simply going to drag and drop this right over in here and we want to find our center and then we're going to create a copy which is control j on a pc and then we're gonna line these up. Now I like to leave a little bit of a space, not too much of a space between the two. And here we go. Now all we have to do is print. Okay, so now that we have our Pringles wrapper, we want to now create the top for our Pringles can. So we're going to go to File, and we're gonna go to New, and we just need um, a standard sheet of paper. We're gonna create. So of course I did not make this one landscape because we don't need it to be landscape, but now that we have our standard sheet of paper here, we are gonna go and do a shape. Since we have our shape here, I like to go ahead and give it its size. So right here where the W is, that's your width, we're gonna type in three inch and then your height is going to also be three inch once we have that then you can simply just click it's going to make sure that that's what you want to create and you'll click ok and now you have your circle my circle is white at the moment we're going to change the color of it just so you can see it uh, let's make it it's going to make it pink just for this, but as you know, since our design here, I did a gradient. I can go ahead and actually make it a gradient if I would like. So we'll go ahead and do that. You see it pulled over the same gradient, and I can adjust this if I want to get all the colors in there. 
Okay. We have our top label created. Of course, once again, we want to merge all of this together. So we don't want our paper to be in there. So one way that you can do is make your paper to where it's not visible. And then you can go to layers, merge visible. And it merged everything that's in our top circle label. And then we'll make our paper back visible. I like to have my paper visible so I can see what I'm doing. It's better than having that grid. That's just my personal opinion. Um, so, okay, so now I'm going to make sure that I line this up and I'm just going to create copies. And I'm going to give it a nice space in between. Okay, then I'm just going to keep making copies here. And you should be able to fit six. Yeah, you should be able to fit six on here. Um, once you have all six on there to make sure that it is evenly distributed on the paper you can go ahead and line them up do what you see fit <laughs> um but you can go ahead and have those lined up accordingly once you are done with that you can then now print your tops as well as print your wrappers Okay, here is our label for our Pringles, and this is our top piece for our Pringles. Now, when it comes to the circle, if you do not have a Cricut or Silhouette where you can actually um, print and cut, then of course you can use a circle punch, um, and it just simply saw the paper in here press down and it will cut it out for you that's what it looks like okay so now we are going to assemble our Pringles can um, for this I am going to use my glider gun she's quite dirty but it's fine <laughs> um, for the top all we're going to do is open the top put this in but for this part what I want to do flip it over throw some tape on there Now that we have our wrapped label on, it is now time to put our cap label on. But you wanna make sure that you do not leave this little folded piece under your wrap label. So I'm simply, like I said, just gonna place that right into the cap. And then I'm just gonna line my design up with the front of my Pringles can. Once I do so, that is the finished design. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if there's any template that you would like for me to do, as well as creating different designs, let me know down in the comments. Also, everything that I used in this video will be located in the description down below. Happy crafting!